welcome to the Organized Crafter Brain channel and today I'm just doing a quick January wrap up about everything that I read and made and created in January. I'm going to start off with what I read in January. I read four books. These are the four books that I read in January. For the Sister Reads Book Club, this was actually our December book, but we hold our meetings on the first Sunday of the month. So we held the meeting for How Beautiful We Were in January. Absolutely loved it. Five stars from me. This one, Year of Wonders, is the January Sister Reads Book Club book. And the meeting for that is going to be held this coming Sunday. This is Year of Wonders by Geraldine Brooks. Uh, this is the second book I've read by her. I also, I've also read People of the Book, which I absolutely loved. And this one was also a great book. I think four and a half stars for me. I loved it. It didn't blow me away, but I absolutely loved it. The writing is brilliant. The story draws you in. And the parallels with the world that we were living in recently did not miss me because, in fact, this is a book about the plague and a village that chose to effect effectively quarantine themselves. So there were so many parallels with our recent pandemic. Um, really wonderfully written lots to learn in this book obviously based on historical facts i also read dear edward by anne napolitano i'm still trying to figure out how i feel about this book i enjoyed it it's a good read she writes really well but i don't know i have some reservations i think it's a three and a half for now i'm gonna think about it some more because I felt I felt a bit distant from the characters. So I don't feel like she brought across really what they were going through very, very clearly to me at least. But I would recommend it. It's an interesting read and it's actually based on a true story and it deals with how people, you know, deal with a significant loss because Edward lost his entire family in a plane crash in which he was the only survivor and then the last one this for this month actually no not the last one the second to last one because I finished the book on my Kindle too The Blue Beautiful World by Karen Lord from Barbados she is a speculative fiction writer and I read this for the page turners plus review program I'm giving it three stars. I like science fiction. I like speculative fiction. But in fact, this is the third book that she has written in this particular universe, which I did not know before reading it and which is actually not mentioned in any of blurbs. And I think I would have enjoyed this book more if I had read the previous two. It's supposed to be read as a standalone. It's not supposed to be read as a standalone. It can be read as a standalone apparently, but I feel that I would have enjoyed it more if I understood some of the backstories of the characters. Um, it's basically a first contact story, you know, aliens making first con contact with Earth, which is something that I think if you're into science fiction is, is explored quite a bit. So I would definitely recommend it if you want to read speculative fiction from a Caribbean writer. The last book that I read, which I've read on my Kindle, is a book of short stories by Claire Keegan. It's called Walk the Blue Fields. It's, I think, six different stories. And I quite enjoy Claire Keegan. This is the third of her works I've read. I read, I've read small things like these, which was absolutely wonderful. I've also read Foster by her, and she writes basically novellas, but this one is a book of short stories, all set in Ireland, 
all very different and all really excellent. She's just a, a fantastic writer. So that's my reading wrap up for January. So here's the art that I finished this month in January so far. On my own, I did my word birds. Going to be calling them that now. My word birds with my words of the year. My word of the year, which is purpose. And this smaller one is the theme for January, which is be curious. If you want to see how I decorate these watercolor birds, come along to my next live on Sunday, this Sunday on Instagram, and I will show how I decorate these birds live, if it works out. I also started the visual mark making class with Lisa Congdon on Creative Bug. Um, I'm taking that slow. It, it's a daily creative class where you do one thing a day for January, but I'm just doing it at my own pace. So this is what I've done so far. It's just starting with pencil marks. I want to keep on doing that for sure. And then in my art class, we did a bit of a diff few different techniques. Um, one week we did repetition in the style of Andy Warhol. So we made a bunch of prints. We first we carved the lino cuts and made and then made prints. And I have to put this together all on one sheet as a repetitive piece of art. If you think of Andy Warhol, um, his Marilyn Monroe print, um, his uh, tomato soup print, you know, he did a lot of repetition. We also did another exercise where we cut an image into pieces and then rearranged it and then transposed the bits that we wanted onto a larger piece like this. And I absolutely love this technique and it's something I plan to play with a lot more. And in fact, I'm considering doing something similar for my 100 day project which is coming up starting on February 18th. So I did a little test run in this sketchbook to see how that would work. So that's one of the things I'm considering for the 100 day project. The other thing I'm considering is doing 100 days of jelly plate printing because I really want to work on that. I've owned a jelly plate for over a year now and I haven't used it much. So I also did a test run in a sketchbook. I'm trying to do use a sketchbook for my 100 day project this year. So I did a test run and there you can see my first quick print. I'm leaning towards doing this for the 100 day project simply because I think it will be something that's easier to commit to doing every day. It, it took me less time to do this than to do that drawing. So we'll see. For things that I've made this month, I've finished three knit pieces. I'm actually wearing one of them now, this sweater. They are all projects that I started before 2024 but finished in January. So the other two is this cardigan and this wrap and you can see how they look on me now. <music> and warm and comfy and here is the elementary wrap all approximately 70 inches of it this project I started in 2019 and finally finished it I kept putting it off but now it's done and I absolutely love it it's extremely warm and comfortable I've actually just been wearing it around the house when I feel a little bit chilly I throw it on and it 
is just absolutely gorgeous. Now looking forward to February, lots of exciting things coming up. I mentioned there's going to be the 100 day project. There's also read so lit with Didi of Brown Girl Reading, the photo challenge that she does every February for Black History Month. So I'm really looking forward to that. And the other thing that's going to be happening in February is the February challenge, which is basically for all people who do fiber arts. That's also a photo challenge on Instagram. So I'll be playing along with all of those three things in February. So let me know what you've been up to in January and what you're looking forward to next month. Bye for now. Thank you.